like whipped cream. And, uh, Recipe was really too easy. We should, it too easy? This was too easy, yeah. It's not easy for you. <laughs> You know, we're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just going to have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, that's not going to be hard to do. It says we put the oil in large fry pan, uh -huh. and we add the carrots and the diced spam. So okay. why don't we do that? But now, you know what? And you the broccoli. have corn there. Is that yes. for the next recipe? No, that's going to go in here. Okay. This was a little light. We're going to stretch it. Okay. With corn. All right. So we're turning our fire on. Yes. And we're going to put some olive oil. Can I have some olive oil? Some oh, right and you here. know what? A bug just flew into your corn. <laughs> he won't eat much. Okay, some olive oil. Yes. And you coat your pan, and then you smush it around. I see this on cooking shows. Is the pan kind of hot? No, the pan is cold. Oh. There's a fly flying around here. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Well, you know what? I actually have my handy-dandy fly swatter. Do you really? Which matches my nails. Oh, not on a <laughs> farm. Not on a food, Barbara. Get away. Oh, Got uh, it. <laughs> oh. Well, that's the downside to cooking in your garage. <laughs> I suggest you make this recipe in a kitchen. Barbara, you shouldn't have done that with that fly swatter. You got all over the food. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get the food real hot so it'll get sterilized. That's right. It'll get sterilized. Yeah. No one will know the difference. Do you know what SPAM stands for? 
Spam? Yes. Does this stand for anything? Yes, it does. I don't believe it. Uh, this that. is a trivia question. It stands for specially processed assorted meats. That's not true. Because that's not that's not true, because that's not assorted meats. What is it? It's a it's a pork shoulder. It's a front end of the hog. The, the other end is ham. <laughs> but but the front end of the hog is spam. Oh, is it? Yeah. If I had the uh, if I still had the can, I would show you. It says it right on there. Okay. So it's well. not assorted meats. Assorted meats would mean goat and stuff like that. Well, you know, we're uh, since we moved to PBS, I have stopped reading the Inquirer, the Star, and the Globe, and I'm starting to read better magazines. Really? Yes. So now like, I was like this, what? Well, I'm reading People magazine, <laughs> and. <laughs> paper and there was something in people magazine this week no kidding this guy dr peter fong he's a marine biologist and what he's doing is he's treating clams with prozac clams with prozac yes and apparently why is he doing that well it makes the clams less depressed and they have wait how can you tell if a clam is depressed i don't know but apparently he's on the same wavelength with the clams i think he's taking the prozac and it says here that the little the clams get so undepressed that they produce 10 little baby clams per hour, I guess it is. And the thing about the clams is, is that they have their sex organs all together, they're hermaphrodite, so they're having fun all by themselves. They're what? <laughs> what did you call those clams? Hermaphrodite. I saw it on the Jerry Springer show. It's where, <laughs> it's where you have both parts, and clams have them. Really? Yes. So they're... You mean they don't have any boy and no girl clams? No, they're all in the little shell. They're just one one thing. Right, that's it why they close the shell. must be a very dull shell. life. Well, I guess they're selfish shellfish. Mm. And it says here <laughs> that the Prozac is working really good, and what the doctor's trying to do is then give it to humans who, instead of Viagra. Really? Yes, since it peps up the clams. Really? Put that in the frying pan. But I think, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't Prozac make you kind of relaxed and... I've read it makes you crazy. Oh, no, no, Barbara, just pour it in. You're, you're splattering it all over the range. Oh. Okay, Boy. so now you take your carrots and your Spam, which I am not touching, by the way, because I am allergic to carrots. Ew, it got on my finger, excuse me. Okay. Those carrots are cooked, Barbara, they won't hurt you. Somebody cooked them while I wasn't looking. Oh, they are? Yes. The carrots are cooked. Yes. Wow. All right. This now, is amazing. Oh, now we got to cut this stuff up. This Do is awful stuff. you know that I've got, this is a very interesting concept. You know, people watch us at all hours of the day and night. And on some stations, we're on at 3 a.m. in the morning. That's and I right. got a very interesting email from this couple this week who said that they had this um, uh, porno channel on. And when it was over, they flipped to us, and they wanted to let us know that they have now switched off the porno channel, and that at 3 a.m. they are having sex to our show. Really? I don't believe that. I can't believe it. Really? It was in the email. And if you would like to email us, well, of course, you can check on our website at hotrange.com. And then you can email me at vvontv at hotrange.com. I love to be emailed. Did we put the water on the, on the, is, is that, is, oh yes. Let me know when that starts to boil. Okay, we're gonna boil, we're gonna you boil got a, it, and the fire's on. We're going to boil a little pot. Now, how much water was in this pan? Well, some. Okay. That's a technical cooking show tip. How about this one over here? Oh, that little bugger got away. Yeah, yeah. But don't you have something to chop? Yeah, yes, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this the range. This is kind up. of like my domain. You, you, you threw, you threw olive oil all over everything. Now this here. is very dangerous. What he's doing, because usually if this was a gas burner, that would go up in flames. Yeah, but it isn't. That's an electric stove. Actually, since we got this electric stove, we haven't had as many accidents. Oh. No, that's right. We haven't, have we? That's right. First couple of years, he had no hair on his arms. Yeah. And we, uh, 
We set the uh, paper towels on fire. We set the paper. That was our very first show. That should have been some indication. And your husband was nervous, and he came running up with a fire extinguisher. And all he was concerned at get out of my shot. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you know, that clip has been on the world's funniest on Fox television quite really? a bit. Yes. They run it more than once? Yes, they do. They do we, just can't believe get, that do somebody we, do would we do get, that. Do we get paid when they run it twice? Yes, we do. Okay, that's all right then. Now, I see you have your handy dandy mushroom slicer. Yes. Have you uh, washed doing... those mushrooms? Yes, they were washed by our, who was it, our food, our food person? Well, we have a recipe coordinator. Can I read you some email jokes oh, that do. came over? Do, do. There are some very funny things. I am getting so many jokes from people. Okay, I think, oh, and here now, was. Now, just read the clean ones, Barbara. Okay, here was, this came from Pooh Honey at AOL.com, and this is a poem that she wrote just for you. For me. For you. It says, here's a poem for John. My nookie days are over. My pilot light is out. What used <laughs> to be my sex appeal is now my water spout. <laughs> Time was when, on its own accord, from my trousers it would spring, but now I've got a full-time job to find the blasted thing. It used to be embarrassing the way it would behave, for every single morning it would stand and watch me shave. Now as old age approaches, it sure gives me the blues to see it hang its little head and watch me tie my shoes. Barbara. Is it real? Barbara, you're bad. You're bad. You just made that up, didn't you? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I'm not that clever. Well, I, I think so. That's right. You're not. Okay. Here's a really cute... This is kind of a riddle, okay? There was a perfect man who met a perfect woman. After a perfect courtship, they had a perfect wedding. Their life together, of course, was perfect. Then one snowy, stormy Christmas Eve, the perfect couple was driving their perfect car along a winding road when they noticed someone at the roadside in distress. Being the perfect couple, they stopped to help. There stood Santa Claus with a huge bundle of toys, not wanting to disappoint any children on the eve of Christmas. The perfect couple loaded Santa Claus into their car, and as they were driving along, conditions deteriorated, and the perfect couple and Santa Claus had an accident. Only one of them survived. Who survived the accident? <laughs> I don't know, I'll buy it. Who survived the accident? The perfect woman. Because you see, she's the only one that really existed in the first place. We all know Santa Claus is a myth, and we know there's no such thing as a perfect man. Oh. Oh, that's... We're boiling! Okay. okay. Or is it boiling? Oh, hey, she... We're knew, boiling! She knew how to do that all by herself. Can you see yes. that? Yes. Did everybody see that? Now, what do we do next uh, when we... Now we have to set our timer. That's right. Oh, Barbara, you're getting... So bright. And there's no timer. Where's the timer? It should be on a shelf there. Ah, here it is. Nope. Okay, and how much time for the little pastas? Oh, let's give them ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. Boy, this is a lot of mushrooms. That is a lot of mushrooms. They must have been a good, got those on sale. Oh, look at this. It all looks like it's got lip gloss on it. I never fried carrots before. Yeah. Well, they were parboiled. No, but I usually fry them. I, I don't parboil them. I really? I put them in raw. Are we supposed let's to put, put something else in yeah, here? Yeah, let's put something in. What's next? Let's put, the, let's put these beans in there. Let's put the beans. Let's put the beans in there. Okay. All We've right. got beans. Oh, it's a, an array of color. Was we supposed to put the beans in? Wait a minute. No, they're already in. Oh, no, the colors are nice. That's all right. Is that okay? If the colors are nice. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Because remember, and looks broccoli. are everything. Carrots. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, here's something that came across my desk. You know, we don't have beans on the recipe. <laughs> well, it looks nice, so we don't care. Does it look good? Yeah, I it thought good. it looked yes. good. Yes. That might, beans must have been left over from the last show. Do you think? Could be. I don't know. Okay, here's a cute one. A man walks into Macy's. And he asked the woman behind the counter, he says, I'd like to buy a bra for my wife. And the lady says, well, what type? Just look around, there's a sea of every shape, color, material. So she says, actually, even with all this variety, there are really only three types of bras. 
the Catholic type, the Salvation Army type, and the Baptist type. Which one do you need? So the man is confused, and he goes, well, what's the difference? And the lady responds, it's very simple. The Catholic type supports the masses. The Salvation Army type lifts up the fallen. And the Baptist type makes mountains out of mold hills. You know, that reminds me of an old joke that's about the same way. What's the old joke? Well, the guy goes in to buy his wife a bra, the same way, and the, the lady asks him what size, and he says, well, he didn't know what size, and she says, well, are they maybe the size of grapefruits? And he says, oh, no, 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 no. And uh, she says, well, maybe they're the size of oranges. And he says, no, 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 they're smaller than that. And he says, well, or she says, well, maybe the size of eggs. And he says, yeah, yeah, eggs, fried ones. Boy, that's an old, that's an old joke. Is Boy, it an old that joke? That is so old. Oh, my God. Well, it's new to me. I think I heard that in the sixth grade. That amazes me how you remember a joke from the sixth oh, grade, is... but you don't remember what you read on that recipe five minutes ago. No, I don't. Now, you know, we got we to gotta put this over on that burner and bring that pan over on this burner. Okay, we can do that. The flipping pan. And we need to turn the, the fire down on the... Uh, on, on the, the pasta. pasta, because the pasta is boiling rapidly. That's right. So turn it down a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What happened? Turn it down. Now, we have fire on here. What are we, we doing next? Olive oil. More olive oil. More olive oil. Boy, this is going to slide right through you. No, olive oil is good for you. <laughs> olive oil is good oil. spice in this. We haven't. We haven't. Have Not we gotten yet. to that part yet, or did you no. just forget? No, it's here, right here. It's okay. Just up here, whatever it is. Okay, now we want when that gets hot, we want to put these onions in there. Okay. I'm going to get, wait till it gets a little hot. So How will we know? Sizzle. Well, put your finger in it if it gets burnt. <laughs> if it gets burnt, it's hot. Okay, let's do a test. No, it's laying there dormant. No, so it's not hot. Not hot. Not hot. Okay, well, we'll take that one out. What's next? The onions. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's do another test. Yeah, that's doing it. All right. All right. I hear them frying. You're not in a hurry, are you? No, but th that's hot, right? That's hot. Don't that's you hot. hear them sizzle? I hear them sizzle. Isn't that my first clue? That's your first clue, yes. You're doing well, Barbara. Hey, I'm on a roll tonight. Do you know what else See, I read about this week? What did you There's read about? There's a lady who wrote a book on how to marry a rich guy. Really? And she holds gold digger classes, gold my, digger seminars. I think my wife read that book. <laughs> Although when we got married, I just owed, I owed everybody. I didn't have a nickel. I, I had a good car and she thought I was rich. Okay. Spoon. We're back in the something. Okay, so this is what we're doing here. Because the other one's looking kind of anemic. Oh, we're going to bring it to life in a minute here. Are we bringing this to yeah, life? As soon as that gets done, we're going to put the. Well, now, here's a, here's a stupid question. Why do we have to use two skillets? Because you have to wash two skillets? Couldn't no. we have just started with the onions? No, because when the onions were cooked, then put the rest of this stuff in no, here? No, because then the onions would have been overdone. Oh, and okay. And so would have the broccoli, and so would have the mushrooms. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. You know, I just want to save those viewers at home any work. Just make sure you have a lot of help. We're doing you good. know, I don't know how people make these recipes at home when there's only one person and no one just specifically to stir. I'll tell you, it's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think you should have cut this broccoli more. A stir, Barbara. Okay. <laughs> That's looking good. Uh-oh, I think we shut this off. Did you shut it off? No. Oh, my hip must have hit it. No, I don't think your hip hit it. I think you turned it off. Did I? When you, when you turned that one on, you turned that one off. Did I need to turn this on? Yeah, on real low, yeah. On real low, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. 
Now our 10 minutes. Are you throwing, don't throw it all over the stove. I'm not throwing it all over the stove. Yes, it's cooking. Are. They're really little. They cook fast. Okay. Now we've got some. Oh, look at this. Yeah, now we've got some pasta in our uh, onions already. Do we? Yeah. Oh, well, you won't see the difference. You're going to put it all together anyway, right? Well, no, we're going to layer it, you know. Oh, we're layering it. Layer it, yes. This is a layering recipe. Yes, yes. And then this is yeah, corn. This is, that's a lot of corn. And that is not some corn, it's a lot of corn. No, that's that's three uh, three corn cobs. Three corn cobs. Yeah, three corns on a cob that we took the corn off the cob. Did you really? No, we opened a can. <laughs> you know what, actually, this would be a good vegetarian dish if you left out the spam. Did we, put, we did put the spam in there. Yes, the spam is in there. But we, do, but we do have a lot of requests for vegetarian dishes, do which we? of course you ignore. No, yeah, because that's bad. We're just gonna. Okay. We, 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 this will get stirred up later. Okay, two so squirts, we're adding mustard. Two, two squirts. 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 Two squirts. Okay. More like two farts. That's <laughs> All right. Okay, we got, we got our squirts. Oh, Ooh. and our pasta bell just rang. All right. <laughs> Why don't you set it down? Okay. Had a girl. I knew that. Did you know that? You know, I don't think we need the pasta to stretch this because we got. This is an awful lot of food. We got a lot of stuff. How much will this feed? Oh, I think it'll feed about 17. I'm going to put this in here. Put about half of it in there. Okay, so we're yeah. putting half yeah. of the pasta in, yeah. and we're mixing this up. Yes. With the most squirts of mustard. Yes. And this is our. So recipe. now, what kind of plate do you have to put this all in? Well, we have a casserole because this is supposed to be a casserole. And it's supposed to go in the oven for 49 minutes or something like that, and we don't have that much time. Okay. So this would have been a casserole. Yeah. But so why are you baking it when it's really all cooked on the stove? We're not going to bake it. <laughs> is it me? Okay. You just said it was a casserole. Yes, it is. We're going to make casserole. But why would you bake it if we're, it's already cooked? We're not going to bake it. <laughs> we don't have time to bake it. And we've got an awful small casserole for all this food, but that's all right. Now, what but if you baked it, okay, let's take a hypothetical situation. Okay, all right. If you baked it, yes. what would be the purpose of baking it since it's already cooked? Well, you wouldn't, if it was already cooked, you wouldn't, you would bake it then. But if it was already cooked, you don't bake it. <laughs> Here, Barbara, we're gonna put a little, we're gonna put a layer of this in here. I'm gonna put a layer of this in here. Is it just the heat and I just don't get it? <laughs> That's simple, Barbara. We didn't have time to uh, to uh, bake this for an hour and a half or whatever that we're supposed to. Right, but if you did have time to bake it. Yes. What would happen? It's well, already nothing. cooked. No, but if you were gonna bake it, you wouldn't cook it. That's what I'm asking. All right, all right. Problem. Do you really think so? I think so. I'm not sure if it's generational or it's just that you just ignore me. Well, I try to. Now we got it. We oh, you're working hard. Well, it's hot over this. I think the oven's on on the stove. Really? Oh, I'm glad because I thought I was having a hot flash. Uh, you know, this is this is coming out just right. You know, that? just right. Now, what do we add to this? Now we add some cheese. Cheese. Just, just stand by. Put, okay. Put the the Jack cheese. Yes. No, which this is, is melted under these lights. This is John cheese. John cheese. Okay. No, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes. Just, you're putting on the barbecue. Well, it's ew. It's stuck in my nail. You're putting ew. big clumps on. Boy. Ew. Okay, so you need a helper for this part. Can you believe what a clutch she is? Oh. And then what else goes on this? Now, just for color, we put a little of this on. Do you cilantro. know what this is? This is cilantro. No, it's not. Isn't it cilantro? No. What is it? It's Italian parsley. Italian parsley? Yes. Really? Right, isn't it? It's Italian parsley. I never heard of such a thing. Yes. I thought it was cilantro. No. And the only reason I know that is because... Your, mother, your grandmother was Italian. <laughs> no, because uh, Ramon told me that when he was putting everything oh. out before. Okay, so I cheated. So I knew that ahead of time. Tastes like nothing. And do you know, do you know why? You know, we got, we got grass on our lawn that tastes better than that. Well, anyhow. Do 
do you know why you were really cooking the vegetables in the pan first? No. Why? To get the water out of them. Is that what we were doing? Yes, that's what I was told. Oh. Well, now this is all done, see? And if, we okay. were, if it just came out of the oven, it would Now, we do have one in the oven. Uh, I guess we don't. <laughs> oh, no, it's in this oven. I bet it don't, okay. I, I bet it don't look like this, though, so. Okay, well, here's a comparison. Wait till we get some of the garbage off the stove. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. okay. There we go. That's the finished product. Now, did, would you eat that? Sure, why not? Looks awful. Okay, let's compare it to this one. Sure, put that on. Okay, which do you think? Let's hear it. Do you like this one? Put this one. How about this one? Whoa, tough crowd. All right. Well, another successful dish. Thank you for watching at home and for you here in the studio audience. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right. There you go. Are you going to put flour in that?